going on? Mr. Dave here. I'm in my garage slash studio here up in Alpine. And I just wanted to talk to you guys about how to learn how to make fake rocks the easiest way possible. Now, some of you guys may remember in some of my other videos and conversations that I have been in my career a sand sculptor. So for many, many years, decades really, I was carving all kinds of things all over the world. One of the easiest things to carve was rocks. Again, this is just some sand that I use for my convention theme party boxes, I'd call it. This is like half a bucket. And so if you want to learn how to make fake rocks, I would su suggest get some sand. You want some fill sand. It's better than the uh, sandbox sand you get at Home Depot that's been heavily washed. This stuff holds together better. And so <coughs> what you want to do is you want to get <clears throat> uh, sand that can hold its shape a little bit when it get, gets wet and stuff. But this, this, with sand, you can practice making rocks so fast, so easy, it's crazy. You can just pack it up. And depending on what kind of rocks you want to make, you can make them uh, any way that you prefer. I'm kind of trying to do this backwards from the side you guys are looking at. But really, one of the easiest things to do when you were doing, when I'm doing sand sculptures, sculptures was making fake rocks, or at least emulating rocks. You can just pop the sand with your trowel, and do little undercuts if you want. Very simple. You can put in some striations, some fault lines. And it very quickly begins to give you the sense that you have a rock sitting here. You can poke it around. And again, this is more angular of a rock. Super fast, super easy. You can come back with the brush. Kind of dab it a little bit. That softens your edges. You can brush it and use this to just sort of brush it around and that softens things, creates some little textures and that kind of thing. So very quickly you can see how fast it is that you can get a rock look. And you're trying to learn how to do this, right? That's the whole point of this whole thing. Sand is the fastest method to learn how to carve things in three dimensions. There's just nothing faster or as effective and as easy as that. So it's just, it really is as simple as that. You can do the peel aways, onion peel aways, and just keep doing whatever it is you want to do for your fake rock look. Now I'm doing it backwards just so you guys can kind of see from that side what I'm doing. But again, with sand, you can just do it so fast, it's ridiculous. It's super, super crazy. Little brushes, little brushing. Soften those edges again if you want them soft. If you don't want them soft, you want them more roundy, you can do that too. <clears throat> so if you want to make a a rock that has more symmetry to it, or is more roundy. Just pack the sand in there, get it up into a <coughs> shape or a pile, whatever you want to do. Just dab it in there. Sand is the easiest, fastest way to learn how to make rocks that look like rocks. Essentially, this is the same thing as you're going to be making it in without the Portland cement, the binder that makes your rocks hold their shape. So this is a little more roundy kind of a shape. Again, the texture and the depth and degree of details you want to do, whatever you want to do, you can do. 
Give it a little dab, dab will do you with the, uh, the brushing. This takes a little bit of the material off. It's kind of working on the back here, which is kind of dumb because you guys can't see it unless I had a second camera here. So maybe I'll get to get the more high tech and have another camera here for you. But you get the idea. So I recommend using sand to practice making your fake rocks. Again, you can undercut things. A big, huge fracture line, let's say, broke, broke away some of the rock. So it's as simple as that. Get some good sand, you learn how to make fake rocks. It's the easiest way to do it, I'm telling you. So do some experimenting, look at real rocks, track their cracks. How do they, how do they do their thing? How do you see the ones in nature, the real ones? God makes the best rocks. So check out the real deal and you'll get better and better at making your artificial rocks with your mortar and your sand and your concrete mixes. Simple as that. Makes sense, makes sense. All right, Mr. Dave on the non-rock pile, on the sand pile here, showing you how to make great fake rocks in practice mode with sand.